Right. I need to eliminate Jindosh and find Anton Sokolov. What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back. I'm your host, Sinistrina1. Always, oh, this is something I've, I've learned while playing this game. Eventually, I guess they're coming out with a patch that's going to allow you to do these missions over again, like restart the missions, but for now, you can't. So always get a good save going on in the very, very beginning uh, to make sure that you're safe. All right, here we go. Again, remember, we're going through this. We're not worrying about any of this stuff as we've already uh, did that for the Emily walkthrough, so... Who would build something like this, and why? Ah, someone's activated one of the mechanisms in my house. Jindosh. Obviously, you're pleased with yourself. Do you know why I'm here? I'd assume my involvement with Duke brought you to my door. Or maybe you're after washed-up Anton Sokolov, comfortably residing in the assessment chamber. Either way, come find me and take whatever it is you seek. But if you fall, I'll have your body carried to my lab for dissection and study. Until either comes to pass, your secret is safe with me. I'll see you soon, Jindosh. Until then. The space behind the walls. And the display bag indicates that the machine is waking up. Ah, you've managed to deactivate my wall of light. So because you can't see where they are, you need to wait. Let them run around a little bit first. In part, I made this place for luxury and spectacle, I suppose, but it's more than that. This place is a testament... This is the easiest and quickest way to get to fighting Jindosh already. But not alone. 
Alright, so I won't do this too much because I know it can be a little boring for you guys, but I just always want to slowly check a few things to make sure I'm still good to go. So in order to get to this one right there, flip this switch that wall will come down and you're able to as you can see go up into that area and you can get that one this one's always this one is always actually pretty hard to do so that's why we're always going to do a little quick save here what kind of sadistic joke is this with this machine, maybe you won't have to die after all, Jindosh. Could have come this far. Megan helped me find you. We need to leave. Jindosh has plans for an army of his clockwork soldiers. He can't be permitted to build it. He won't. I'll be paying him a visit momentarily. <laughs> Wait for the save here. There we go. Play back. Oh, you've taken Sokolov. Now what? Safe is to take Sokolov back to the carriage before confronting Jindosh. Alright, I'll check one more time to make sure we're good, and we are. So now, I say the trickiest part of this whole mission is getting uh, the non-lethal electroshock. 
and that's just because of the clockwork soldiers. I guess it's not really that difficult. Uh, there are multiple ways of taking out the clockwork soldiers and doing it stealthily as well, but I always r revel in the challenge of doing it without being caught, or n without taking them out per se. Just uh, letting skill of non-being caught and, and stuff I think is, is, to me, where the real challenge lies of not even messing with him. I've only taken out, what, one guard, one female guard here, and I could have probably gotten by her pretty easily too. So just like last time, we are going to put Sokolov on this side here so we can get ready. Now we need to grab him without being caught by... Now we could probably take them out quickly. I'm going to go ahead and save here to make sure we're good. Alright, make some noise. Okay, the machine has detected something. Which is going to allow us to only have to worry about one... So now, if you just kind of wait, I'm going to go ahead and save. Search complete. Display back indicates some detection without certainty. I hit the wrong button. Woo, that was close. We just want to go to maintenance. We want to grab this room here. So, if I'm not mistaken, they're probably still one level up, which is not going to be good for us. We want to wait until they head back up to the main floor. And again, this takes a little bit longer, but it's it's so that we don't even have to mess with them, and I think that's the fun part. Now, yes, I could go off and do all these amazing kills and stuff like that, guys, but this is not what this channel is. We don't go off and just do that stuff. It's fun. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to lie and say it's not fun. But we, I, I find the challenge in not being caught as opposed to being caught and then finding cool ways to kill them. Everyone is different, so if you like that kind of gameplay, then go ahead and watch uh, whoever it is that you prefer. Alright, so you want to wait a few seconds. You want the guy there right now, there's two of them on the bottom floor. Give it a few seconds. That way you know 
One of them is one up. Another guy is going to be coming down here, but you can get out of his way quick enough. See, he just went up. Hurry up over here, because he's coming down right now. And you should be good to go. Now, we do have to wait for one clockwork soldier who is down on this floor right now. This playback indicates a false positive. Hmm. Let's make sure that we're still good to go. That was close. Now, they could have seen this body, but, it, you know, what can you do? So, if you remember correctly, we need, what is it, anatomy and optics? Because it has a total of 11, so we need to do 4, and 7 is 11, so. So now we'll need optics. You have four app updates available. But we have to wait until it's done. General detection state. They can only see you when you turn around. The suspense always kills me on this part. The electroshock machine should work now. Alright, we're not out of the woods yet because we still have some clockwork soldiers to deal with at the, uh, the entrance. But we should be good to go as far as before we get there. Yep.
Now you gotta look at all of them. See which way their heads are moving. Set up some type of distraction. We can probably use a... Just a regular grenade, maybe? And there you go, and we should be good to go. Nice grenade distraction there. And we have completed it, ladies and gents. Hurry up. There we go. Alrighty then. <laughs> Love this mission. Alright, so we're heading uh, back to the lower. And we have pretty much completed this mission, and we've done it completely stealthy. Uh, we only took out one guard, and should be good to go as far as clean hands. No kills. I'm keeping up the no kills motif in this version, as I wasn't able to get it in the last one because of uh, uh, a couple of accidents where soldiers fell after you sneak guarded them and died miraculously. <laughs> Nonetheless, we're going to make sure that doesn't happen on this one. And it's, I, again, I'm sorry that it is a little more to the point, but if you want to watch the more explorative version with all the side missions, then make sure you check out Emily's version. I hope you kissed your kids goodbye this morning. I, I didn't. Alright, so we need to get up there. Again, it was very, very easy with Emily. I can't even jump up there. Now, last time with Emily, we were able just to go across these little things. A little bit at a time, no reason to rush. And he is a snorer, I'm telling you. We have done it, ladies and gents. Complete. Nice and stealthy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You did it. How is he? Frail and wounded, but he'll recover. I didn't think it was possible. You must have a story to tell. I'll hear it back at the ship. All right. And there you go, ladies and gents. Of course, that body detected most likely is the um, Jendosh. So maybe you knock him out again and hide the body, but the clockwork soldiers see the body I mean I don't know whatever not a big deal because we still got the check mark never detected so that's what matters um, all right guys well thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed again we're not getting all the runes or the paintings or the blueprints or all of that stuff just enough uh, we got so it looks like we got three in this mission plus four or five so we only need one more to get the and pretty much be invisible when you're stopping time and stuff so that'll definitely come in handy now some things that I am gonna be doing different is we're going to be saving Megan. Um, so we're going to be changing history where I didn't do that in the Emily, Emily version. Um, we're going to check out Corvo's house in the next Dust District. Uh, so there's there are going to be a few changes that we're going to be doing, obviously, in the future. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed. And of course, I will see you on the next one. Peace out. Bitches.